So my talk this morning was about uh, you know the ten hottest consumer trends for 2013, and you know what I was trying to do is really give a whistle stop overview, a very high level overview of you know the consumer arena, but but just tease out some of the the areas that you know might present interesting opportunities to innovate around. It's really the idea that people, you know, consumers, we have these basic fundamental human needs that don't change very often, you know, are quite stable. The search for social status, the desire for fairness, the desire for collectivism. We looked at you know, some of these basic fundamental human needs. But of course what does change is the circumstances around them, you know, perhaps our economic circumstances, new technologies, you know, where we live, different cult changing social values. These things change, and when they change, these basic fundamental human needs can be serviced in new ways. And really, this is right at the heart of when we're looking at all consumer trends, you know, when we're trying to understand why an innovation connects with consumers, is relevant to consumers, it often comes back to this, need, this satisfying or catering to a basic fundamental human need. For businesses in, in you know, the West, to use a collective term, you know, emerging markets are seen as this, this kind of rich seam of opportunity. You know, this is where all of our future growth has come from. And I think perhaps people have you know, maybe overlooked the fact that these emerging markets, you know, they are by their nature emerging. You know, there, there are brands coming out of there that are increasingly powerful and confident. Uh, you know, I think uh, the BCG, Boston Consulting Group, published a great stat last year. You know, there are now over a thousand uh, brands from emerging markets with sales of over a billion dollars a year. You know, these are businesses that are coming out there and they are looking to the rest of the world for their growth too. And of course, you know, they have the experience of operating in these markets, in these fast growth markets, in a way that a Belgian, Norwegian brand doesn't anymore. You know, so I think, you know, we, as, a, as a business in the West, you know, we, we need to watch out, we should be afraid. And you also got to ask yourself, you know, who are you really competing against? Because all of this innovation that's surrounding us on a daily basis, on a global scale, is really creating what we've called the expectation economy. And this is the idea right, that consumers, they increasingly go into every purchase, every interaction, with incredibly high expectations. You know, there's not just best in category, not just best in center, but best in the business arena at large. You know, think about, Someone getting into the BMW, right? You know, they don't look at the in-car entertainment system and compare it to Mercedes-Benz and say, oh, it's a little bit better, you know, it's done a really great job. No, they compare it to Apple and they say, why is it not as easy to use as my iPad? You know, why is it not as well designed as my iPhone? And of course, you know, in 2013, it's not just the guy getting in the BMW that's making that comparison, it's the guy getting in the Fiat, in the Hyundai. Every consumer has the highest expectations, and they expect you, you know, and if you're a B2B brand as well, you're also coming up against these expectations. You know, whether you're a hotel chain, whether you're a medical device supplier, you, you know, your customers expect your products and services to be as well designed, your customer service to be as brilliant as the brands here, you know, the best in class. The majority of consumers, especially in mature markets, you know, facing financial pressures, you know, sustainability is not enough to warrant a higher price. So I think what we're seeing now is businesses having to look at how they can integrate sustainability to actually make the products and services better, either better for the business, you know, lower so they can reduce the price for consumers, or um, actually better for the consumer. You know, can you make a product? You know that is actually better. To look at light bulbs, you know the light bulb that, that lasts for 20 years. You know that is a better, a better product for consumers. Four levels that we think you can apply trends. You can you can really apply consumer trends. You know at the top there, you've got your vision. You know this is as we heard from Unilever uh, yesterday. You know tapping into the sustainability trend or you know being part of the sustainability trend doubling their business without increasing the environmental impact. You know, that's a big visionary statement informed, of course, by the ecology trend. Below that, new business concepts. Businesses like Airbnb, Zipcar, you know, the collaborative consumption uh, trend triggering and driving these whole new business models. New product services experiences, below that. You know, we've just seen some of them, the virtual fridge. You know, think about uh, what new products and services, experiences you can launch informed by the trends. And then at the bottom, 
you know, the, the fluffy stuff, the marketing, the advertising, the PR, anyone in advertising here will know, of course, you know, this is a great way to show consumers that you get the trends that are important to them, to show that, you know, you're moving with the zeitgeist, you're in tune with consumer needs and wants. Bottom of the pyramid innovation you know, is a huge topic because, you know, if we look at innovation as unlocking a better society, you know, uh, it's a huge focus. And I think, you know, actually, from a business point of view as well, it's good business because, you know, today's bottom of the pyramid consumer is tomorrow's low income consumer, is next week's middle class consumer. You know, and I think we're seeing more and more, you know, businesses like, like Unilever, like P&G, you know, reaching out and understanding that it is great business to help these previously overlooked consumers. Uh, so yeah, you know, I think, I think it's a huge trend.